Okay, here's a couple ratio questions. Sabrina has a two and a half gallon container. She's gonna fill it with a 41 gas to oil. So how much gas does she need? So, okay, she's gonna have to put in gas and oil, but the question is just asking about gas. Okay, they give us a 41 gas to oil, 40 to one, 40 to one, and I like to put my units here. And if it says, if the question said, how much gas does she need with three quart gallons of oil or something like that, we could use this ratio. But we need how much gas does she need in this container, which is a total. So we have to make a little bit of an adjustment. We need in our fraction here a total. You can put it on top or bottom. I'll put it in the bottom. The total, and then since they're asking about gas, I'm going to put gas on top. So we need to make our own ratio that's not going to be 40 to 1. So if it's a 40 to 1 ratio, then the total parts are 41. You can add those together. And of the 41, how much of that is gas? Well, it would be 40. The other one would be the oil. So a oil to total ratio would be 1 to 41. Uh, gas to oil, 40 to 1. So once we get our new ratio, they didn't give us, that's why this one's a little tricky, then we can answer the question because the total is what's given. You just have to kind of interpret that the total amount of liquid is what's the, the going to be, if the container's filled, then the total amount of liquid in there is going to be 2.5. So we're putting the, if once we have this set up, for our container, our total is only 2.5. So how much of that should be gas? Most of it should be gas, right? 40 to 1 is, uh, is almost all gas. So it's, uh, our answer should be somewhere close, not too far from 2.5, right? If you think about it, it's almost all gas. And if we solve this equation, that's what we should get. So I would cross multiply 41x equals, and then I multiply 2.5 times uh, 40 and that should be I think a hundred okay then we divide both sides by 41 to get our answer and I got 2.4 three nine and I think the direction said to round to two decimal places so I got 2.44 and then we need our units gallons okay uh, next question is that is the answer is 2.44 yes what we got okay the next one should be 18 let's see if we can get that uh, you receive a remote automatic weather station report of 20 foot winds blowing at 24 okay what are the winds at eye level so if you look at the directions for this one they say something like this eye level winds are three-fourths of the 20-foot uh, speed. I know that's confusing, but the, it's three-fourths of, this is just like a category, it's not a number, it's three-fourths of the speed. Okay, so once we can interpret that and figure that out, all we gotta, and, then, and they also give you another, some other uh, different types of uh, levels, but since they're asking about the eye level, then we're looking at just this bit of information. I think there's some other information in there as well. But all we need to do then is take three-fourths of the given speed, since we know it's we're talking about the eye-level winds, which is they give us it's three-fourths of that given speed. So once we can try and make sense of that, the math is easy. Of course, the confusing part is interpreting that given data. So once we do three-fourths of that speed, Three-fourths of 24 miles per hour would give you 18 miles per hour.